everybody, it's Stacy Shara Simpson with Pageantry Now, and it's that time of year where we work on our Miss Universe prediction video. So, the Miss Universe will be held on January 29th in Manila, Philippines. In the United States, you'll be able to watch it live on Fox, and if you're not in the United States and you want to be able to watch it, you'll be able to watch it live at MissUniverse.com, or you can download the Miss You app and watch it there. Plus, you'll be able to vote for your favorite for a top 15. So if there's someone that you like that I mentioned today, or someone that you like and I don't mention today, feel free to go onto the app and start voting uh, so that you can have your favorite be in the top 15 and possibly win the title of Miss Universe. So uh, I'm gonna also give the disclaimer that some of these women I have worked with, so I am familiar with them. I don't have a favorite for top Five yet. I think that I will do a video after the preliminaries that will be like a recap video that will give me and you a better idea of what to expect uh, for the final day of Miss Universe. So I'll start off with Australia. I think she's got an amazing smile. She's extremely charismatic. Uh, she's Miss Australia has had a history in the last couple of years of doing very, very well, but I know their coaching team is wonderful and I think that she's, she's going to be one of those people to watch. Also, Miss Bahamas, makeup artist. She is stunningly gorgeous, like just very exotic looking, great smile. I think that she's going to have a great opportunity to be able to do very well. Uh, I like Miss Canada. She's got that girl next door look. She's just very beautiful, but very, she's got a nice smile, the bubbly personality. That's kind of what we're looking for, for the confidently beautiful Miss Universe. Uh, I also have had the pleasure of working with Miss Haiti, and I think that she'll do very well. She's got a great smile. She's very articulate. She's quad quadrilingual, um, so I think that she's going to do well. Uh, Miss India is very stunning, very regal looking. She reminds me a lot of our reigning Miss Universe Pia Warsbach, so I think that she's going to do very well. Miss Mauritius I've been working with as well and I, I love the fact that she's just very she's very real she works with AIDS charities already uh, very well spoken extremely articulate and speaks like eight languages I mean wouldn't you want that in a Miss Universe I, I know I do people that can go around the world and actually speak to the people that they're representing And then Philippines, I think she has a good opportunity. It could be a double header for Philippines this year. Very, very beautiful. She just has that smile and makes me drawn into her and makes me go, oh yeah, I really like her. Now, my fave, Miss USA, I love Deshauna. I have worked with her as well. Uh, and I think that she's just got that real confidently beautiful strength, power. She's done amazing things in the United States as Miss USA, and I really look forward to supporting her um, for Miss Universe as well. So those are the ones that I'm choosing right now. Again, that'll change after preliminaries where I will go ahead and go to top five. Um, but do ahead, do go ahead, go to the MissUniverse.com website or go to the Miss You app and download it, and then look forward to watching Universe pageant here in the United States on Fox on January 29th uh, with host Steve Harvey as well as Ashley Grant.